In this video, I want to show you some things that you need to know to get started with the EasyPipe program. First of all, you want to go ahead and draw your center lines for your piping route before you place the fittings. Okay, let's take a look at the icons on the main toolbar. Here you see the Easy Layer uh, icon, which you can use or you don't have to use the uh, Easy Pipe layering system. You have the butt weld toolbar. Just clicking the toolbar uh, icon brings it up. Same thing for the flanges and for the flange valves from the main toolbar. We can turn those other toolbars on. I'm going to turn them off right now. Uh, the next icon is the drag and drop toggle, which we'll discuss later in this video. And then the drag and drop zoom. Also, the piping size, we're going to select a size. You can see from the list here um, up to 42 inches. So we're going to select 2 inches and hit OK. That sets our starting pipe size at 2 inches. The next icon is the single line double line. Currently the default is double line. And now we're going to turn our multiple fittings on. Uh, this will allow us to put in multiple fittings uh, without having to go back to the uh, icons. And you can see that's turned on now. If you click it again, it simply turns it off. So now let's place a elbow. And we're going to do an elbow and plan view. And we're going to place that fitting right there and rotate it. Okay. Next we're going to show you that it's going to ask you if you want to add another fitting. You just simply press enter at this point or the space bar. And then you can continue to add fittings uh, as you need them. So we're going to put uh, those two in. Again, now we're going to type no because we don't want to add any more multiple fittings. Uh, now that's only for uh, the elbow in plan view. Now we're going to do an elbow turn down. Again, we have the same option. Just press enter to add more fittings. We're going to add a few more. Okay, and then we're going to turn say no. Next, we'll add an elbow turned up. So we'll select that one, turn it up. We'll type in for no to stop the multiple fittings. And let's add a baseball to that elbow turned up. So we click that and uh, select the insertion point. Now, at this point, we're going to add a T in plan view. So we'll select the T. We pick the size, uh, a full 2x2. Two two. We could have selected a reducing size. We place it and rotate it. And then uh, we're going to turn our multiple fittings off at this point. You can see now by just clicking the toggle they're turned off. Okay, now we want to discuss the drag and drop toggle. This uh, toggle allows you to place fittings, uh, say a fitting to fitting, if you wanted to place um, a T, uh, the inlet of the T to the end point of a uh, elbow, which I'll show you in this example. Uh, we want to place it just like that. So you drop the fitting and then you select the next insertion point that you want to use. So we'll pick the inlet here and we'll attach it to the end of the, the elbow. And as you can see, that allows you to do the fitting to fitting. Okay, we'll erase that and uh, we'll turn that toggle off. You only need that when you're doing fitting to fitting placements. There is a note at each uh, point of the fitting. Every fitting has no points and those can be the drag and drop points. Uh, that you can use to place the fittings together. I want to show you now that the uh, fittings themselves have uh, information within them, as you can see from the list here. Now, this information comes from the line ID, uh, line identification, 
you can set that at the beginning uh, and uh, as you're placing fittings it'll add the line identification to it and pipe as well uh, for those systems. Now let's add some pipe. So we'll pick the pipe icon and we're going to pick a node to node. And again we're going to turn the multiple toggle on so that we don't have to keep picking the icon. And then we'll place all the pipe. So I'm just hitting uh, the enter key or the space bar here to continue to add pipe. Now we're going to add the line ID to our pipe. We're just going to pick the line ID. You want to pick the edge of the pipe and then you want to just to select a point for the line ID to show up. Put it right there in the middle and then our rotation angle. And there we have the actual line identification which is coming from the information that was stored in the pipe itself. I'll show that to you again here. Uh, and that is uh, X data, and you would need to use the XD list command to see that information. Again, there's the uh, line identification that we have set currently. Uh, you can either use all of those identification uh, boxes or just use a, a few of them, whichever you choose to do. Okay, now we're going to tag the pipe. So we'll uh, pick the um, Tag Utilities, the Add ID tag, and then we'll select the edge of the pipe. The, the tag ID is attached to the cursor, and you just simply move it to a point, location point and select that point, and then you can draw the line, uh, pick another point for the line. Um, as you see here, you just pick a point and then pick another point for the line or press Enter. Again, uh, some of the tags uh, may show the line going the wrong direction, but you can then show that point. Now we're going to tag the fittings. Do the same thing again. Select the edge of the fitting. Uh, the bubble will come out, and then you can, if the line is correct, you can just simply press enter at that point, or you can pick a new point for the line. Um, and you continue that for each fitting. Till all the uh, fittings are tagged. Again, we do that for the last uh, fitting. Now, at this point, uh, we're going to add the bill of materials. So we go down to the bill of material, and we're going to do the pipe BOM first. You have the option of doing the drawing or the window. We're going to type a W for window, and then we'll select a window around the pipe, including the fittings, but it's only going to pick up the pipe. And then we have a placement point. We place that down, and I'll drag that over and show you the bill of materials. Of course, you can edit this uh, to be as wide or, sh or short as you want it to be. Uh, that is a uh, attribute block file, so it is editable. Now we're going to add the fitting bill of material. Again, we're going to use the window option. We can window the entire thing. It's only going to pick up the fittings since it is the fitting bill of material. And then you can see here we've got the five two inch elbows and the one two by two T with the line designations uh, in the box. Of course, again, you can change that to anything you want.